Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. The way we do that is by learning a few new words every day. Today is our day number 24. Day 24. I do not know why I didn't do that ahead of time. I did. I. Oh, here's a word that comes to my mind. Remiss. I, I believe we learned it already. I'm pretty sure. Remiss. To be remissive means to be negligent. To remiss. To remiss means uh, to neglect something. To neglect your duty. It was remissive of me not to have cleaned the blackboard ahead of time. The very first word that I want to learn today, we want to learn today is Entrapid I'm pretty sure this word we did cover, I just don't know which day, but it is covered somewhere in the previous oh, 20, day 24 Somewhere in the previous 23 words, 23 days, I, I remember having covered remiss. Entrapping. What does it mean? It's an adjective. It just means to be brave. It means to be courageous. It means to be bold. It means to be valiant. While I'm at it, another word comes to my mind which of course is a very straightforward and simple word for a native speaker and the word is homophone I believe it's called homophone or homophone I'm just not sure how to pronounce it sometimes they also call homonym I believe Homonym is what I meant to say, or homophone if you like. Homonym is usually is what we are used to hearing. Homonym literally means homo as in same, and name as in name. Same name as in same sound. And the reason why that word came to my mind, homonym, is because I wanted to point out here that don't confuse this board with its homonym. Board and board. As in being brave and having no hair to be bold which is B-A-L-D this is B-O-L-D and they are pronounced the same way homonym is the word something that I have to these are some simple things which I should not have to look up but I always do because oh there we go this was right homonym or Homophone, as you, if you like, but usually people talk about homonyms, not homophone. Again, it's called homophone because homo is in same and phone is in sound, same sound because they have the same sound, bold. So this is B O L D. I, I, I don't ask me why I make a big fuss about it, but just in the off chance that you might. You might have a tendency of uh, mixing them up. Well, let's learn the word valiant. It's the next one I want to learn. Right here. Valiant. What does it mean? Valiant means possessing, possessing or having possessing or having valor I 
called a good one to learn, valor, which simply means bra bravery. Valor is a noun. Bravery, this is an A. Bravery, courage, and finally, boldness. To be valiant means to have valor. So we need uh, we learn two new two 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 good words in the process. While we're learning the word intrepid, we learn the word valiant, which means to have valor, to have courage, to have bravery, to have boldness. Let's learn one more word, which is a synonym of valiant. Let's learn one more word, which is a synonym of valiant, which is a fun word to know. Because sometimes people look at that word and uh, they get the wrong end of the stick, they completely misunderstand the word, they just go by the sound of the word and they completely muck it up. Muck it up, as I always remind you, with an M. Is what I'm trying to say here, M-U-C-K. Not with an F, that's not what I said. To muck it up is to make a big breakfast or something, to make a big mess of something. Let me erase everything here, so that we can learn a synonym of the word valiant. A synonym of the word intrepid. And the word is doughty. Doughty, contrary to the sound that it makes and contrary to again to popular belief does not mean having doubt. Let me make a note here. Doughty does not, not mean having doubt or, or to be full of doubt. What does doughty mean? Doughty means valiant. Doughty means to be brave. Doughty means to be courageous, to be intrepid. Those are all good synonyms. Doughty, intrepid, valiant. What else did we learn? Any other fancy word we learned here? That's it. Brave, courageous, bold. These are all synonyms. These are all synonyms. One more time. The word doughty, despite what it sounds, does not mean to be full of doubt. The question now is, the million dollar question is, what does, what is the word which means to be full of doubt? Is there a word in English language which means to be full of doubt? Again, I need to raise everything because we need the room, so here we go. One more time. Doughty is a synonym of valiant, intrepid, and bold. It does not mean to be full of doubt or to have doubt. It does not mean that. Question is, is there a word which means, which actually does mean, having doubt or to be full of doubt? And the answer is, of course, yes. The word is... Dubious. Do. E. Us. Dubious, or sometimes some people pronounce it as dubious. Dubious or dub dubious, they're both considered as acceptable pronunciations of the word. I prefer dubious, which just means to be full of doubt, having doubt or to be full of doubt. Having doubt or to be full of doubt, full of, full of doubt, or simply means questionable. Well, if something is questionable, you have doubt about it, you are dubious about it. 
Sometimes you hear about somebody having a dubious character. To have dubious character means to have a colorful character. And colorful character is not a good character. It's just a very polite, very euphemistic way of saying that the person has, uh, has a questionable character. There are events in his past or her past that one wonders about. I just use the word euphemism. These two words are already covered. I don't know when, which day. I wish I knew so I could put the day, day there to it. But euphemism just means a polite way of saying something. Instead of saying that the person is a crook or you do not trust the person, a euphemistic way of putting the same thing would be he has a colorful past. You wouldn't say dubious past because that makes it too blatant, too obvious that you're trying to say it's no good. Colorful past is how it is. So that's what it is. If, you, if something, is, something is, has a colorful past or colorful history, if you like, means it has a dubious history, it has a dubious past, it's full of doubt and full of questions, and it's not uh, all up and up. That's it. Let's go to the next, next word. The word again is dubious. Do not confuse, one more time, do not confuse the word dubious with doubty. They have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Doughty means to be brave, to be valiant, to be intrepid, to be courageous, to be bold. Do you understand? Let's learn one more word. And the word is... Generic. What does it mean, generic? Joe. There is an adjective. Generic means exactly what it sounds like. General. Not specific. Not having. Not having. Brand name, not carrying any trademarks. Not one more time, I'm going to read it to you in case you have trouble reading my handwriting. Not carrying any trademarks. Because so, if something carries trademark, then it's a specific name. Not having brand name, it has no brand name. It is, it is not, it's, it's, uh, generic simply means it's not specific, it's general. So when people walk in the store and uh, they, they ask the guy, give me a pack of cigarette and the guy says, which brand? And he says, give me a generic brand. Well, the generic brand, that expression there, generic brand is a bit of an oxymoron. Oxymoron is where to use two words which are incongruous, two words that do not go together, two words that are opposite in meaning to each other. Because if something is generic, generic by its very definition means it carries no brand. So there is no such thing as a generic brand. What they mean to say is that the person asked uh, which kind of uh, uh, medicine do you want to buy? You want to buy a certain medicine for say a headache? Uh, do you want a brand name? Uh, which, which brand do you want? And to you say give me a generic one. What you're telling the person is that Give me the one that carries no brand. That's what it literally means, generic. Literally means it can give me something that carries no brand. And of course, what they're trying to say indirectly is that give me the one that is cheapest, is what they mean to say. Give me the one that is cheapest. And of course, the one that is cheapest is the one that has no brand. There you go, generic brand, uh, there is no such thing. It's just an oxymoron. And I always find it weird, I always find it peculiar that people who say that, generic brand. I don't know what they mean by that. It is not possible to be generic and yet have any kind of brand, but you get the idea. Uh, that was it for today. I'm done. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor face to face, one to one, uh, and I also tutor over the internet via Skype and over the telephone for any of this exam, any of these tests, the GRE, the GMAT, the SAT, and the TOEFL. Go to any of these website addresses and send me an email, or you can go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright?